again for all that he has given us. My hope and prayer that you had a wonderful week. Me together with my family, we are doing well. And I don't thank God for giving us an opportunity this morning to share the word of God together. I want to welcome every one of you so that you can be blessed by God this morning. We are going to start with a word of prayer. And as you always do, when I want to pray, I stretch my hands, I put them together, then just to speak to God. Dear Lord, we want to thank you this morning for taking care of us throughout the week and for gathering us this morning to hear your word. Forgive our sins this morning. May you minister to us in this service in a special and a mighty way. For the honor and the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Let's join together in our Lord's prayer. Our Father, we sat in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. May thy kingdom come. May it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We are reading our, our Bible reading this morning comes from Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Act of Apostles. Act of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. The word of God says, When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to less on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. This is the word of God to his children this morning. Amen. Children, we are going to watch the video and see about the story of Pentecost. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. 
When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, yes. They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Hello, children. Have you enjoyed the video? I've also enjoyed the story about the day of Pentecost. As we have seen from the video, the day of Pentecost is when we celebrate the pouring of the Holy Spirit to the disciples. And it comes uh, 50 days after Easter Sunday. And as you can remember from our last service, Jesus and promised the disciples that when he goes back, back to the Father, he is going to send them the Holy Spirit, the helper. And I want to say, when Jesus ascended to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit after 10 days. And just as the disciples were given instruction by Jesus to stay in Jerusalem, in the upper room, they were just there. They obeyed the master who was Jesus Christ. So on this day of Pentecost, the disciples were just in the upper room. They were just sitting in the room. Maybe they were reading the word of God. They were encouraging one another. And so they felt a strong wind, a very violent wind, a very strong wind just came and entered their room. And the Bible says, the tongues of fire fell on each one of them. And suddenly they started speaking in tongues. They started speaking in different languages. And people who were in the city, that is in the Jerusalem, they came to see what was the cause of the sound. And when they came, they met the disciples speaking in different languages. 
And remember these disciples, they were Galerians. But they were speaking in other different languages. And in the city, people had come from different places and speaking different languages. So when they came, they met that the disciples are speaking their languages. One could say, Hiya, this is my language. Another disciple there is speaking another language. And so they were amazed. And that is how it happened. The Holy Spirit descended on the disciples. And they spoke in different languages. And from there, the disciples were filled with the power. And they continued to preach the word of God. As they were told by Jesus, they started in Jerusalem, preaching the word of God, people could repent, their sins were forgiven, and they could join the fellowship of believers, and they continued preaching to others, and many people handed to the group of believers, children who directly be filled by the Holy Spirit. When I got saved, when I was young, I, I was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And it is very good to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now as we continue, you may ask yourself, child, who is the Holy Spirit? I want to tell you this morning that the Holy Spirit is the power of God from on high. The power of God from heaven. And then he gave his send it to us through Jesus Christ. We can also say that the Holy Spirit is the third person in the Trinity. When I talk about the Trinity, it's about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And in all of them, God is always present. So, the Holy Spirit is the power of God from heaven. Praise God, children. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, power from on high. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, power from on high. The Holy Spirit, children. Is the power of God from heaven. Now, children, what is the work of the Holy Spirit? What is the work of the Holy Spirit? You see, God is holy, and He cannot come to live with us here because now in the world that we live, we are full of sins. There is a lot of sin everywhere. And God is holy. And he does not live in dirty places. And therefore, he has released his power. Because the Holy Spirit you have seen is the power of God. He has released, he has released the Holy Spirit to assist us as believers. So, when you get saved, Jesus releases the Holy Spirit to you. So, the Holy Spirit lives in the heart of a believer. Every believer who has gotten saved and accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, he has the presence of the Holy Spirit. So, what is the work of the Holy Spirit, children? 
the work of the Holy Spirit is to teach us to do what pleases God. The Holy Spirit is a teacher. And how does he teach us? When you read the word of God, you get instructions. Do not steal. You need to pray. You need to love your neighbor. So the Holy Spirit, when you read the word of God, he teaches you. The Holy Spirit is also a counselor. He gives you direction. What to do? The Holy Spirit is very important in our lives as Christians, as believers, as children of God. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot be able to praise God because we cannot be able to do things that pleases him. But when the Holy Spirit is in control of our lives, we are able to praise God. And therefore, each one of us this morning should decide to be fruit by the power of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, as we climb as our lesson this morning, we are going to do our memory verse. So children, even for last this morning, when you receive the Holy Spirit, and for those of us who, have, who are believers, who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit will always teach you the word of God, the truth about God. He will remind you of everything that has been recorded in the Holy Bible. The Holy Spirit will give you instructions. And therefore, we want to thank Jesus for sending us the Holy Spirit to be our counselor. And therefore, if you are walking with the Spirit of God, you always do according to the will of God. And even when you have sinned, you are going to repent, and the Holy Spirit will continue to walk with you. The only thing that can make you not walk with the Spirit of God is sin, because God is holy. Therefore, as you always do, let's dramatize our memory verse. But the counselor, the Holy Spirit, who my Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have sent to you. Wonderful. The Holy Spirit will teach us all what Jesus Christ has taught in his world and what he wants us to do every day as children of God. Hello, children. We come to the end of our today's service. Have you enjoyed? Have you been blessed? Do you desire to be filled by the Holy Spirit? So, I want to thank you so much for listening to today's service. May the Lord continue to bless you and to take care of you. I still pray for you and your parents. So, have a blessed week. Let us stand and end the service with a word of prayer. As you always do, when I want to pray, I stretch my hands, I put them together, ready to speak to God. Dear Lord, thank you for your mercies this morning. Thank you for speaking to us about the power of the Holy Spirit. As children, Lord, we desire to be filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
so that we can continue to preach your word and witnessing wherever we go. May you continue to take care of us. May you continue to watch off over us together with our parents. In Jesus' name do we pray and give thanks. May we join together with the ones of grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. that he has given us. Thank you. 